I hope this uh, PD will be beneficial to all of us. I really hope it does work out. Um, Ria started this whole thing actually for me to do this PD, so thank you, Ria, but I hope it does work out. <laughs>
and mental health. I'm just going to try to link the two topics in a row as we go along. I don't know how much do you know about teacher identity. Anyone? Anything? Teacher identity? No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at least you guys maybe may, 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 may have like, an idea about uh, teacher identity. For those who don't know me, my name is um, Lodi Zubane, and I'm from South Africa. What surprise? Actually, <laughs> <laughs> shocked. And shock. uh, that's so much. Can't shout South Africa at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so, Michelle is a happy one. Peace. Um, I am Zulu. The reason I tell you that I am Zulu is because for so long in my life, I didn't understand actually how like uh, my identity influenced me. Like in this case, for example. Even as a teacher, I didn't understand, I didn't know, you know. As a Zulu person, before I was able to read and write, <clears throat> I knew my clan names. So I perceived identity from a group perspective. Never thought of identity from an individualistic perspective. So the way I identify myself is based on the group, you know. If someone says, uh, I'm a teacher, I think of them in a particular way, like, well, teachers do this. I wouldn't think of a teacher having their own identity away from the group. So for so long, the first time actually I was confronted with having to learn about identity and understanding myself was in theatre. For whatever reason, in theatre we were made to interrogate ourselves so much that we get to know ourselves. The first time I was in a theatre class, just like this, see how everyone is seated? The teacher said, everyone, stand up. Go outside, leave yourself outside of the classroom, and come back to the class. <laughs> That's the first time I, I've never heard that before. Anyone has ever heard that before? No. This is my first time I've never heard that. Seriously, I've never heard that before. The other class, teacher said, go outside, leave yourself outside of the classroom. They didn't understand like, anything. What, what is that supposed to mean? But the other students, for whatever reason, they understood. As soon as we got outside, they started making sounds. <laughs> That's all different. <laughs> so, that's, it's fun, you know? The class ends. 
standing. Once it's okay, it's at first. Actually, for many of you who know, the person who actually convinced me not to quit was JC. I didn't quit. And then over time, I got it. I learned. Over time, theatre, everything we did, everything was around this concept and idea of parentalization, or as I call it, the art of becoming. It's so one thing to study and be a teacher, it's another to actually become one. This was the idea all the time when we have to take on a new role. They had this thing where we have to interrogate ourselves, our own identity, and how does our identity, who we are, who we carry with us into the space, how does that affect the person that we are in Christ, for an example. So any role that we play, we carry ourselves. I'm not going back like that. So I had to leave yourself outside the space to become something new when you get on the space all the time. We had to interrogate ourselves. Mr. Lucas, in this instance, for example, you know, I always hear you say, oh, I don't teach you no money letters, I don't 10, I don't 1, I don't 15. The reason for that, for the most part, Mr. Lucas, is because their identity, their own teacher identity, who they are, their beliefs in um, discipline is different. So we differ. Well, as you know, some of us are never raised with warning, Mr. Lucas. No, that's not, that's it. So, so as a result, some people will struggle to keep up with maybe a system like that. So what I want to say today is that we try to interrogate who we are, what we bring into the space as teachers, what do we believe in as teachers, and how does this contribute to the characters that we are and portray to the students. The students don't know that you're an A student, uh, you're a best professor, they don't know that. They see the character. That you project to them. They literally judge mostly on that, on the character that you project to them. Students called uh, one teacher and came up to me the other day. I'm not going to say this teacher, but here. And I asked them why they say it's terrible. They said, because the subject is so hard. Well, the teacher is like a devil's assistant because the subject is so hard. <laughs> and the teacher doesn't seem to understand that the subject is so hard. But then there's projection, how the teacher will project themselves to the students, they are looking at the character, they don't know how good the teacher is, you know, the background and stuff like that. You know, all the time we've been it's journey, when you hire a teacher, you're taking a chance, you're reading the CV, you rely on the interview and hope you're not gonna mess up when you get here. <laughs> and then you find out when we're here to build mess up or not. Because we bring ourselves into the space. That's the point we're trying to make. It doesn't matter the rules, they can say anything they want. Mr. Bevan spoke about Bloom. Uh, Formative, summative, uh, Mr. Makino, everything they say doesn't matter. Because, if, especially if we are not going to be aware, pay attention to the fact that we're bringing ourselves into this space and how we interrogate what we are told and the rules and stuff like that to us and our identities and what we believe uh, in as teachers. Everyone follow me? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, teacher identity is what I want to talk to. You. <laughs> Teacher identity, what is your teaching identity? So, teaching identity basically refers to the self, values, beliefs, and philosophy basically that you use as a teacher, your approach overall in the classroom. We're talking to that, what we carry with us as teachers, you know? That's what we're referring to. So, some of the things that teacher identity will, and guys, please know so much into teacher identity. This is just uh, a sample that I made from. Too much, too many things actually. Even the form that I have for you is actually it has so many questions, but I limited the questions to nine. So please note that, okay? So one, values and beliefs about teaching, learning, and student. Two, subjects matter, expertise, pedagogical knowledge, talking about teaching style and strategies such as instruction, delivery, consultation, classroom management, and more. Okay? Relationships with students, with colleagues, uh, and the community. Teachers' reflection on their own learning and growth as a teacher. So, just in summary, we refer to those things when we talk about uh, teaching identity. Now, with that being said, I have here a form. This should take us a 15 minutes plus the discussion we're going to have. Uh, I have a form here, I'm going to give it to everyone. This form should help you to have some sort of awareness about your own teaching identity. Okay?
Because you are here.
Terry, Bud, and Dave. And uh, this uh, group called from uh, Mr. Rice, uh, mediocre teachers study. Good teachers are to speak. Uh, best teachers uh, inspire them. Your work besties. <laughs> 
Choosing by losing a challenge with Mr. Okay. Doug right here. Broke <laughs> <laughs> me for Caesar again. So, uh, what we decided that we have in common, and we also guess what we wrote in a paper, is that um, we start with a weakness. The three of us versus Doug. We all don't have much patience when it comes to teach it to kids and when they practice, but uh, we want to work better on that. And um, our strength is that I believe we have a lot energy to motivate the, these guys and we want our um, environment to be fun fun to teach and we want our kids to not be only fit but only become a better a social and mental skills to become a responsible citizen yeah that's all <laughs> So also it can help you to adapt to new things. I'm glad you're learning about me. 
possible. So you're able to, to know how to adjust and change my old uh, perspective, maybe introduce a new way, you know, uh, be able to catch up to what is going on in uh, the patient. So these are basically helps me with that. Um, so we're looking at time. I'm not sure about my time. Okay, because of time, maybe I'm not going to do the last one. Uh, we have one more that we need to do. I'm going to go to the letters and we're going to give letters back to two more people. Okay? <laughs> 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 um, Okay, thank you. 